Hi there, welcome back to Kip DC Math. Today we will model two digit addition. Yesterday we were at the worksite with Michelle and we were talking about two digit numbers. We know that two digit numbers have a digit in the tens place, which represents how many groups of 10 there are, and they have a digit in the ones place, which represents how many single ones are in a number. Well, I wanna tell you about something that happened to Michelle yesterday when she was working. She asked some of her workers to bring her 10 blocks. Let me show you what the first person brought her. Now, let me show you what the second person brought her. Hmm. Which person brought her 10? That's right, they both did. Both of these are 10. They're just organized differently. Over here, we have one group of 10, but if we count them all up, it's still 10. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And the other person brought Michelle 10 single ones. That's also 10, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one ten is the same as ten single ones. And that's gonna be really, really important to keep in mind as we're adding today. When we're adding, if we ever have 10 or more ones, we have to put them together and make a group of 10. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna add 37 plus eight. So I'm gonna start by putting out 37. That's three tens and seven ones. Now we're gonna add eight. That eight represents eight single ones. So I'm gonna add eight single ones. Excellent. So now I used my blocks to show 37 and eight more. Whenever I add, I add my ones with my ones and my tens with my tens. I'm gonna start in the smallest place, which is the ones. So I'm gonna count up my ones. Count how many ones I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 ones. Well, we just said that anytime we have 10 single ones, we have to make a group of 10. So I'm gonna take 10 single ones and I'm gonna stick them together to make a group of 10, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So I took my 10 single ones and I regrouped them into a group of 10. After I did that, I had five ones left over. Now, let me count how many tens I have. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. So 37 plus eight is 45. Did you see what I did there? I started with the ones and I counted that there were 15. So I knew that I could take 10 single ones and make a group of 10. Then I counted how many single ones I had left, which was five. Then I counted how many tens I had and I made sure to count my new 10. When I counted, there were four. So 37 plus eight is 45. Let me show you what I did with my quick tens and ones. So I started with 37, which had three tens and seven ones. Then I was adding eight. And I know that eight is eight single ones. So I added eight ones like this. Then I started in the smallest place value, which was the ones. And I counted how many I had. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I had 15 ones. So I knew that I had to take 10 single ones and regroup them into a group of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I took 10 single ones and I put them together to make a group of 10. Now let me go back and count how many ones I have left over. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five ones. Now let me count how many tens I have. One ten, two tens, three tens. Can't forget my new 10, four tens. So 37 plus eight is 45. 
So remember, when we're adding, if we ever have 10 or more ones, we have to regroup. We have to make a group of 10. That means if we have 10 ones, we have to regroup. If we have 11 ones, we have to regroup. 12, 13, 14, 15, we have to regroup. Because anytime we have 10 or more ones, we have to regroup.